At the first annual Obama Foundation Summit in Chicago, former First Lady Michelle Obama assumed the role of social scientist as she warned women not to spoil the men in their lives. It's like the problem in the world today is we, we, we love our, our boys and we raise our girls, you know? We raise them to be strong and sometimes we take care not to hurt men. And it's powerful to have strong men, but what does that strength mean? You know, does it mean respect? Does it mean responsibility? Does it mean compassion? Or are we protecting our men too much so they feel a little entitled? and a little, you know, uh, you know, a little self-righteous sometimes. It seems that Mrs. Obama was making kind of a veiled reference to the myriad sexual harassment allegations that have rocked Hollywood, the business world, and media companies. As for her claim that the world is dangerous for women, that's kind of a bit of an overstatement, at least for women in the United States. But regardless, Michelle is right to this extent. Women do, at times, protect their men too much and enable their abusive behavior. Hillary Clinton comes to mind, whom Michelle Obama enthusiastically supported in the last election. But was girl power really on display when Hillary attacked Bill's accusers, shamelessly trashing women who alleged against her husband some of the very same behavior that has been alleged against Harvey Weinstein? Remember the bimbo eruptions? And let's not forget that it took the Obamas and the Clintons five days to find the words to condemn their friend and their campaign bundler Weinstein in written statements. People who never spoke out before having the courage to speak out um, just clearly demonstrates uh, that this behavior that uh, he engaged in cannot be tolerated. Okay, took a while. And I'd be more willing, by the way, to listen to Michelle Obama's advice on child rearing and the sexes if she had herself not enabled the ultimate enabler, Hillary Clinton. And that's the angle. To talk about the Democrats' phony moral outrage over sexual abuse, we're joined by one of Bill Clinton's accusers, Juanita Broderick, and Christina Hoff Summers, an American Enterprise Institute scholar who studies politics and gender and feminism in her classic book, the war against boys kind of went into a lot of what boys face in society today. It's great to see both of you, uh, Juanita and uh, Christina Hoff Summers. Uh, Christina, I'm going to start with you. Unpack what Michelle was talking about there, the former first lady, about it's a dangerous world for women and we kind of protect our men. What, what, what was she getting at there? It, well, I. And, and then also saying that men grow up to be entitled. We're raising our little boys to be entitled right. and self-righteous. It's so much the opposite is the case. In schools, boys face a rather hostile environment. They're far less likely to get good grades to go to college. And we need to ad address those problems. And I don't see entitled little boys. I see many, many neglected boys. I'm, I'm thinking maybe she was just speaking off the cuff and wasn't thinking because it, it just uh, she evinced such uh, sort of hostility towards little boys and the men they become, and, and I think it's a problem that people will take the worst case male and then project that into the entire male population, including little boys, and this is something that's done by sort of hardline feminists. And we're raising boys to be to be strong, but what does that mean? And, and well, I mean, we uh, should raise them to be gentlemen, that's Of course, sure. but, uh, and, but the thing that was kind of left out of that conversation was really fathers and an yes. intact family, which is so important for, for children. I mean, I'm a single mother, believe I know it's not ideal. I mean, it can be fine and it's admirable for women to do, it's really tough and it's admirable, but without fathers, it's a lot harder. Well, you sociologists, know, Experts from the right and the left have come together. It's the one thing they agree on is the importance of fathers in the lives of, particularly sons. Broken families take a higher toll on young male development. Absolutely. And Juanita, I want to uh, go to you on this issue because when, when you listen to Michelle Obama and she talked about, you know, protecting men who, clearly talking about men who are not behaving. You know, of course, it came to mind Hillary Clinton, the ultimate enabler of a man's abusive behavior. And remember the bimbo eruptions, what you allege she said to you all those years after your allegations that Bill Clinton sexually assaulted you back in 1978. 
Uh, and yet Michelle Obama is talking about how bad it is to protect abusive men. Oh, I know. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And all I can say is if Michelle Obama truly thinks and believes in the statements that she made, thank goodness she didn't raise boys. You know, and I have no idea uh, what part maybe Bill Clinton's mother played in his influencing his life, but I do know that he hid behind the skirt tail of Hillary Clinton. Uh, she went after us with a vengeance. I mean, and declared us the bimbo eruption. Uh, this woman has no conscience whatsoever. And Juanita, from all these years later, uh, does does any of this surprise you? You know, the, the Weinstein's and the, the Clintons come out five days later after Harvey Weinstein allegations, one after the other after the other surface, and. No, I mean, it doesn't. It took, I mean, no, I was like counting how many days is it going to take for both the Obamas and the Clintons to come out with a statement? And pretty much all these people were coming out except the, you know, close friends. I know. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous, Laura, uh, that they waited that length of time to come out. They were close to Weinstein. They, I, I, I can bet you that they knew exactly what was going on in his territory. It's hard to believe, Christina, by the way, that Bill Clinton, who's as sophisticated as he is, and Hillary Clinton, who's supposedly as smart as she is, they didn't know what even I knew or had heard about Harvey Weinstein going all the way back to 1997. But they were saying, oh, I've never, right. never heard of anything like this. Yeah, uh, well, right. there were a lot yeah. of enablers, and, you know, there's hypocrisy. <laughs> what do you think about the whole Hollywood? Oh, I I'm going I'm to get into that, that later, but they, one incident well, after another, it's just all, one second, one, all uh, the Hollywood spectrum, they're always wagging their fingers, moralizing about recycling and global war warming the whole, and the environment. It, yes, the moralizing and, and while allowing this to go on and really not taking, people knew about it. There were no efforts to control it in some way. And hopefully it'll change. My only worry is that we're going to go from indifference to sexual predation into a kind of vigilantism. Exactly. Because I saw a few days ago, it's, uh, there was an article in the Washington Post by someone that was indignant about George Bush Sr. He had touched in his wheelchair at 93, he had just touched someone, and he, she spoke about a toxic environment. And so all toxic suddenly, wheelchair again, all men are implicated in the crimes of... I'm just worried. I'm worried now. You're right, and, and Juanita and <laughs> Christina, that you can't even like tell a woman, "Well, you look, you look great today," or "I love your outfit." Like men are going to be afraid. They're going to be afraid to be near, say anything because there's it's, it's, now we've gone to a sterile go to the work environment. Extreme opposite. It's, now, it's, and that will that, right. that, 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 that makes it everything unfun. So there has to be a middle ground of just treating each other well and, and treating each other with yes, respect. Yes, kindness. Kindness. And respect. Yes, courteousness. <laughs> and Juanita, thank yeah. you for joining us.